Hey everyone, welcome back to the Visual Dev YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, I wanna show you something really cool that I learned about last week. So in case you missed it, Webflow released that you can now nest collections inside of collections, which is really cool because before you had to use things like conditional visibility and it was just kind of more of a cumbersome process. So now you can just take a collection item, nest it inside of another collection item, which is really cool. This is not a tutorial on that, but what I am gonna do is show you how you can hook up a search function to those collection items so that you can search through those nested collections, which is really cool and helpful, especially if you have something like a blog or you list out resources, um, anything, any content on your site or in your project that you'd want to be searchable, um, this would be a great tool for that. So we're gonna get into it. Big thanks to Chris from JetBoost for kind of helping me get set up and then Tom from Flowbase for making this awesome template that we're going to use. And one last thing, in case you missed it, um, I would love for you to go check out the podcast that I did with Kat Noon from Stark. Uh, we have lots of great conversations around accessibility, um, design, and it's, she's just a really fantastic guest and I hope you check it out. So. Now let's get into it. So this is the template that I was telling you about that we're going to work with. Um, and what we're going to do here is that we want to be able to search by these different categories. We want to be able to match any or match all. So we have business, design, fitness, photography, um, and travel. So what we're gonna do is, like I said earlier, and use JetBoost. So I've already got a JetBoost account. Um, it's free to use and free to test out um, when, you know, just on a staging site. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Add Booster. And the, you have a dynamic list filter or a real-time list search. So. For the purpose of this, we're going to use a dynamic list filter. Click create. And so we are doing, let's do match any first. So I'm gonna go over here and name this match any. And then we're going to see which collection, um, which collection list that we wanna filter through. So in our Webflow project, you can see that we have blog posts and categories, and right here in JetBoost, we have blog posts and categories. So we're going to select blog posts, and then we want to filter our collection by categories. And then JetBoost says, um, can someone with multiple options, can you select multiple options for this field? So you're gonna click yes, and because we're gonna wanna be able to select you know, like maybe we want to see business and fitness or design and photography or something like that. And then we're going to say this is match any. And see there's that all match any match all. So we're going to do match any first. And then this is going to ask us if we want to create um, a URL for this search. So what that means is, is that when you create a search, JetBoost will save that search to a URL so you could share it um, you know, online, like if you had a list of resources and you curated them down to just the specific things you want to show, then you could grab that URL and share it. Um, but for the purposes of this, we don't need a URL to share. So let's click continue. And yay, you can see that that was set up great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this JavaScript code from JetBoost and put it in the head code section of our project. And we know that it's JavaScript because it says right here, JavaScript. So we can just click this. We'll be taken over and paste that in and click Save Changes. And then we're going to want to publish. So we're going to head, go ahead and publish it on your staging server or site rather. And while that's going, there we go, published. Okay, now let's go back and see what JetBoost says to do next. All right, publish, got it. 
And then let's test and continue. Sweet. Okay, now here's where we're going to add in some custom classes to our project. So this, as you can tell, is already been, um, already built out. So we're not, I'm not gonna walk through like how I set up the, um, well, actually I didn't set this up because I took it from Chris, who took it from Tom. So um, but we're not gonna walk through that. If you do want a really good video on understanding the CMS, then definitely check out Nelson's uh, video, Pixel Geek on the CMS, I think it's like a two hour long video. So keep that in mind if it's something that you're still not sure of how to work with the CMS. So we are looking for the blog post collection wrapper. So that is going to be right here. And we're just gonna go in there and paste it in. And then we're going to add an embed into that item. So we're gonna go down here to the collection item itself. And we're going to hit Command E, if you use shortcuts, grab that embed, and then paste and close. And let's test it out. Oh, something's not right. And this is actually a good thing. So I'm kind of glad I ran into a bug because that way we can work through it together and you can see what I did wrong so you don't make the same mistake. So let's see what's, what's going on here. Um, okay, it says it doesn't like wrapper element, not the collection list. So let's see what I did here. Yeah, I think I just did. I think I realized what my mistake is. Let me um, let, let's see this, hang on. That published, now let's try it. That's what it was. So you have to be sure to publish after every step. Um, it'll get you every time. Okay, now let's move on to creating our Categories filter, so we're doing a checkbox because over here we've got a checkbox. So what we're going to do is we're actually gonna skip this because we've already created a filter here uh, with this match any, match all. So we're going to copy this and we're going to add it to the filter list wrapper class um, to the collection list wrapper. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna find match any and then collection list wrapper. Paste that in there. And then now we're gonna do another embed element into that collection item. Let's go over here and we're gonna collection item and then we're going to hit command E get our embed, paste that in, save and close. I like to bring mine up to the top. And publish again, so that we don't make that same mistake twice. And let's test it. Sweet, we've got it. So match any works right now. So let's see how that looks. So let's do business and travel. Awesome, travel, business, travel, business, awesome. Great, so that is working, okay. Okay, so that's working, awesome. So now we're gonna repeat part of the same process for match all.
So what we do here is we're going to go back to the dashboard and we're going to add a booster. That's the dynamic list filter again. And this is going to be match all. All right, so we're going to repeat the same steps. We're going to pull it from the blog post and we want to filter by the categories that they're connected to. We do want to allow someone to have multiple selections. Uh, we want to change this to be all because that's our match strategy. And then again, we don't need the URL. So let's hit continue. Works great. Um, and you'll notice we skipped this JavaScript step because we already have that in our project. So we're going straight to the collection. We're going to copy this and we're going to add it back up to where we added our first class right here. Gonna save that. And then let's add our embed directly in our collection item. So we're gonna go to the collection item again, Command E, embed, paste that in there. Great. And then let's publish. And test it. Awesome. Now we just have a couple steps left. We're going to do our checkbox again. Remember, we've already created our filter. So we're going to copy this and add it to our match all. I go down here, find that collection list wrapper, paste that in there, and then we're going to copy this and go right here to our collection item, Command E paste in that code and let's just pull it up keep things organized here and then we're gonna test it out here in a minute hopefully it goes through awesome so now let's test this for both so we have this page here, we can do match any. That's already selected, or we can switch and go, yeah, I've got to clear these out. I'll show you why it did that in just a minute. Um, we've got to, now we're gonna match all. Okay, so it threw me off here for a second and I made another mistake and this is super common. I'm not opposed to sharing the mistakes that I make because I think that they're good learning experiences. So what I did was the reason JetBoost said that this was right because I put in this embed but it should have been under match all in the collection item instead of under match any. So now we're gonna give this a shot again and should go through um, on there. It's little things like that, I'm telling you, that trip you up all the time. Um, just not, not, you know. Okay, so let's do photography, design, business, wonderful. And then if I were to go to match all right now, it's gonna hold these same fields because over here in JetBoost, 
you can add advanced options. And essentially what those advanced options would do is it would clear out your preferences so that when you like go to the new tab, you would be like starting from scratch. But instead, because I didn't put those in there, it's not going to be starting from scratch. Uh, if this were a real live project, I totally would put that in there. But for purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going to. But you can see that you have advanced options down here if you want to use them. All right, so let's look at match all. Let's just do some design, photography, um, travel. There we go. Sweet, so now you have a fully functional um, search that you can do match any, match all on your project. I hope that was really helpful and I will see you next time.